Hello. So I thought today we'd have a bit of a play with a new paper artsy product, which is the matte tints. Uh, the fresco tints. Um, basically think uh, coloured matte medium. So all the things you can do with matte medium, you can do with these. There are glaze, there are resist, there are sealer, uh, an adhesive, but you can do so much with them. They come in four colours. There is fern, glow, nutty and shark. haven't played with shark much so far. I've played with the others but I'm going to do something with shark uh, when I find the right sort of project. So we'll put fern and shark away and I think we'll just play with nutty and glow because you can combine them. So I thought we'd have a go at an image transfer today. I've got a image, an image out of a, a Vogue magazine. It was um, on offer for just two pounds and it's a lovely glossy magazine. Lots of words, lots of photos and everything for collaging. I've chosen this image because um, I think it's quite interesting. Um, I've got some watercolour cardstock, I think it's about 150, 180 GSM, which is about the right size for the image. I'm going to just cut, tear the bottom of the image off because we don't need it all, just make it easier to handle. I'll show you a couple of the image transfers I've done before. This was on cotton rag paper with a black and white image. Uh, and this was a combination of glow and nutty. And as you can see, that's quite nice. It's got a bit of texture. This one was on the same watercolour card. Uh, it was a coloured image. And again, I used a combination of glow and nutty. I will be honest, I don't always get perfect results. Um, I've done image transfers before but I've sort of forgotten because I haven't done it for quite a while and I've been experimenting. Somebody I know in one of the Facebook groups I belong to had a bit of a problem so I thought I'll see if I can figure out where she was going wrong. Uh, I think I did. Um, but anyway, I'll show you a, a few of the things that can happen. This one, I love this. It's nearly perfect for what I want. But I've just got a little bit of white bloom just here and here. I don't know if you can see. And that's because I hadn't rubbed enough of the paper off. It doesn't bother me. It's irrelevant. It'll just get used for journaling, which is what I was planning. But that's what can happen. If you leave a little bit of the paper on instead of rubbing it all off, you get a little bit of a white bloom sometimes. This one was when I was trying to recreate what I thought um, the lady in the Facebook group had done. And I think I was right. I didn't leave the matte tint to dry enough. And I was quite aggressive when I was rubbing the paper off which creates these lines. So that's another thing that can happen if you're too aggressive when you're rubbing the, the uh, top paper off, but also if you don't leave it to completely dry. So that was, that I think solved that problem. I'm still going to use that because I've got plans for that. And this last one, I think again I maybe didn't have enough matte medium. I'd put too thin a coat on and I didn't completely let it dry. So that's another one. But all of these I'm actually fine with. I like the distressed look. If you want a perfect image, it can be a bit hit and miss. I will be honest. Some people get perfect image transfers every time. 
but I think a lot of people are like me, they get imperfections. But we can deal with them. And actually, this one, I'm going to... I, I actually like the distressed look. And I'm going to do something interesting because her eyes are quite distressed. I'm going to do something there and here and make it a feature. Um, so it, you can work around these things. But anyway, we'll have a go and we'll see how this one turns out. Good or bad, I'll be honest, um, and show you what happened. So I've got my magazine image, I've got my glow and nutty mattins. I'm just going to move that aside a little bit. I'm going to... I've got an acrylic block here to use as a palette. I'm getting low on the nutty. I'm going to, just with a big brush, I'm just going to mix those up. I like both colours separately, but I do like a mixture of the two. I'm just going to set my magazine image away for a minute. I'm going to apply just in the centre of there a relatively reasonable coat. I'm trying to avoid too many brush strokes. And then, oops. Not too much on there. Didn't want it on there, but anyway. Right, I'm going to go for the arty look. So I'm going to put quite a lot on. I'm trying to avoid too many brush strokes. I'm then going to put another lot. I might be just off shot, but I'm putting another coat on my substrate on my um, watercolour card just so that I make have a good coating on both I don't want any gaps right. and then I'm going to sandwich the two together Now this is the important bit, you need a really, really good bond between the two. I know that I have areas that haven't got any of the matte tint on. That's fine. I want sort of a, a distressed edge look. <coughs> this time I don't want it to be front to back sort of all the way across the page. I'll just get rid of that. I'm just gonna t I'll just put a piece of scrap down. Now, I think... I've got a good bond there. I'll put a piece of scrap card on and give it a really good rub and then we know that we've got a good bond between the two. And then we'll set it aside to dry for quite a long time. So I'm just going to leave it to dry, probably overnight, and I'll come back tomorrow. What I think I might do is show you what I'm going to do with this one. I like this distressing here. The eyes just, they need something. But as soon as I rubbed the backing paper off, I thought, hmm... Yes, 
there's something <laughs> um, about the eyes. I need to do something with the eyes. So I'm just looking through my Seth Aptor stamps to see what I want to do. And I think I've come up with the answer, hopefully. Just check. Yeah. So this is ESA 37. And I've got this stamp here today. It's either that one or one of these. I'm not sure. Let's have a look at that one. You can sort of think what you... No, those aren't far enough apart. I'm just wondering about that. We'll go with that. We'll have an experiment and we'll go with that. This may or may not work. It's just an experiment. We'll try. No, that's not quite wide enough, that really block. Right, just set it aside a minute. Yes, I think that will work. All right, so let's ink it up properly. And let's try and position this correctly. Yes, I quite like that. You can just, yeah, <laughs> I just like that. But I don't want that just to be that. I want a little bit more interest. So I think we're going to add a few more stamps as well. So we'll get rid of that one. We're still on the same stamp set. This time I'm going to do a bit of freestyle stamping, so I'll just... It's still wet. We'll go on the... piece of scrap paper. So I like a bit of repetition will go down here as well. Yeah. And let's see what else we've got. I absolutely love this mini, which is MN18. It's one of my favourites. Jeans getting so tatty. So, I don't want it to be really, really dominant, so we'll just have a little bit. We'll do second generation stamping. A little bit of darker there. 
and I think that just saves it. I think that is nice now. I can use that on a journal page. I like the distressing and I might even do a little bit more distressing. I've got a, a rough sanding block. I could do a little bit more if I wanted. But I think generally I like that. I like it as it is. I could do a little bit of mark making as well. I could add, let me just put my glasses on so I can see. I'll just fill in some of these letters. Just gives a bit of contrast. Because it just needs a little bit of a pop of something. And just for balance, we need. Right, so for some reason, my camera switched itself off just as I was finished doing the mark making on this image transfer. So I've done the stamping uh, and then I've just added a few white gel pen highlights. So that's that one which is quite nice. I've also done this one. This She had love written on her hand but obviously because it's an image transfer it's the wrong way around. So I've put it back but the right way around and done some stamping, a little bit of doodling on there. I've left the sort of torn edges, I've made it smaller and done the torn edges because um, I thought it added interest. And then this is the last one and I've just done some bubble stamping and some um, just script there across here and a, a little bit more stamping on here. They're all with the same stamp set from Seth Apter which was ESA 38. That's this one here. So I hope you like those. And it gives you a few ideas. Right, so we're back. I've left this to dry for the entire day. So it's nice and dry now and you can tell because it's flattened out quite a lot. So I'm going to spray it with just plain clear water. I'm going to give it a real good drenching. soak a little bit. I'm just going to get a wet wipe and let's see, I'll start in the middle I think. I'll just start gently rubbing the paper away. And see what we get. if we've got a face. That looks if that's turned out okay. Another bit of spray.
still more paper to come off. You can see this it's like a film over the face. me problems. This is looking fairly good so far. I'll turn it around. Dressing there. Just right, well, we've got a reasonable image. Got a little bit of distressing occasionally but I actually think that's quite a good one and as I've always said I don't mind a little bit of distressing on them because as somebody pointed out if you don't have a little bit of distressed and a difference to the normal photograph, to the original photograph, you might as well use the, not the original photograph. So, let's get rid of those bits. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with her. I'm just wondering whether when I dry her, She'll need a little bit more work, so I'll switch the camera off, I'll dry it. Alright, so we're back. She's dry and I'm really pleased with this one. As I say, a little bit of distressing here and there, but that's... <coughs> quite a lot of that is because I've got textured cardstock. Um, possibly wouldn't have got that if it had been smooth, but I quite like that. So, I'm just going to get a reasonable sized paintbrush and I'll just give her a little bit of a coat of the matint in the nutty just to seal her and it does just knock the white highlights back a little bit and in the bits where uh, the paper's peeled off the edges it just gets rid of that whiteness. I will probably tear her out um, but at the moment I think she's pretty good as she is. Yep. I uh, hope she's good to go. So there we are. 
our image transfer.